morning everyone welcome to day four of 12 days of vlogmas it is sheet washing day so my room is a little bit of a mess while those sheets are in the washing machine we're gonna do some skincare right now let's get to it so it is a little bit of a sunday reset day i have some laundry to do and just tidying up my room because we have um our cleaners coming tomorrow and i just like to keep my room organized because sometimes they move stuff around so that's what I'm doing this morning. And then I thought it would be a good idea to sort of sit down and do a little bit of a recap of all of the things we accomplished in 2023, looking at my 2023 vision board and kind of reflecting. And then maybe tomorrow, or we'll see what we have planned for the rest of Vlogmas, we can do a 2024 vision board session. I think that'll be really fun because new year, new goals. And I saw that it's actually great to make your 2024 vision board in 2023 so you have a little bit more time to manifest and you're not putting so much pressure on yourself in the new year to do what you want to do so that's what we're gonna do today it's gonna be super fun besides that it's just a chill day i'm gonna go to matt's house later we have some wedding stuff to do and we'll watch some football have some dinner and then we also have to go Christmas shopping. We're not going to go today just because it's Sunday and the malls are going to be crazy. But maybe tomorrow we can go when the mall opens so it's a little less busy. And then we could get the last minute gifts that we need to get. We have to get something for Matt's mom, Matt's aunt, and then some of the kids that we didn't get. My skin's like a little dry today, guys. It kind of hurts. So I want to do light makeup just so I don't feel like a blob. Maybe we'll just do my no foundation concealer makeup today. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but my skin just feels like dry and like bumpy, but it looks fine. I don't know. It's really, really weird. Also, do you guys like my headband? I'm officially like a TikTok girly. I don't know. I kind of just wanted a cute new like headband. It does keep the hair out of the face, so moisturizer finally opened up this new elf one it's pretty good alrighty let's get this day started alrighty quick little makeup done touched up the hair it's currently raining outside so I didn't want to go full blown just because it's gonna get ruined in the rain also i can't believe it's almost christmas we literally haven't gotten any snow guys i live in canada and there's no snow it's literally just been raining it's mild it's been above zero degrees celsius for weeks now and it's going to be i don't think we're getting a white christmas this year and that makes me kind of sad actually um i need a little snack i had like a little breakfast so i think i'm just gonna have some more portuguese sweet bread i need to change my sheets bring them to the dryer um yeah guys that's what's up today <sighs> so gloomy today not about that life this is portuguese sweet bread it's literally sweet bread next on the docket before we sit down i want to put on a cute outfit and film a little reel i'm back into my reel kick and i need a cute outfit to film for y'all so i don't know i kind of want to do like a cardigan but i'm also trying to be like cutie so i think when i have troubles like this i go on pinterest and i try to find a cute outfit that I like. I have a whole Pinterest board of outfits I like, and then I'll usually try to recreate something. Let's see, Pinterest. A lot of coats and scarves, which is good. I don't know. It's hard out here. Uh, I don't know, guys. How about something like this? I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's baggy jeans, a beige, not that's not beige, a gray turtleneck and a jacket with some Uggs. Maybe I can recreate something like that. That could be a vibe. I'm I'm looking for like Sunday casual but cute. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? I asked for a black coat, like a pea coat for Christmas, and I hope I get it because all these outfits are like black long coats. So, ooh, my mom has this brown Madewell coat. Maybe I could do that. Okay, guys, I think I have it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, this is the outfit I'm thinking, and I honestly think it's a vibe. Don't mind the dirty mirror. This mirror's literally 
always dirty for literally no reason. Anyways, I'm gonna wear this black turtleneck from Princess Polly, Levi's ribcage jeans with a belt, and then this is the Madewell coat. It's brown, it's my mom's. It's a little big, but I feel like it still could be a vibe if I like do that. Now for shoes, I think I'm either gonna do my Ugg Taz or just my regular Uggs. And I think that's a vibe. I'll add like a jacket, maybe a hat. Let's see what a hat looks like. I love this jacket. I feel like I had a dream about this jacket, but I have a gray beanie. Maybe a beanie? What do we think? The beanie's a vibe. The beanie's a vibe, look. I think the beanie makes it more, more wintry and accessorized, so I actually think I'm gonna do the beanie. We've been killing the beanies lately. See, I think I'm gonna do that with some Uggs, and then we got a cute, perfect outfit for my reel today. I love building outfits. Guys, this is what I love to do, and it's things I already had in my closet. Jeans, black shirt, jacket. Don't be afraid to share with your mom and sister if they let you borrow your clothes. Guys, it ain't, it ain't hard, you know? That's why I love a capsule wardrobe. I always get a few questions on how I set up my filming space. It really is nothing special. First off, natural lighting is truly the best, so I usually film in front of this window here and open the blinds. And this is the tripod I use. It's from Amazon. It's super cheap. It came with a little remote control self-timer thing, but I lost it. Um, and I just hang my phone up here and do what I need to do with the natural light there. I also film in the same area for all my YouTube videos. It's just the best place in this house to film where there's lighting, but not too much. There goes my purse. Um, and yeah, but let's sit down and review our 2023 vision board. What's up guys? Okay, so I have you set up in my regular filming spot. I have my laptop here and I thought it'd be a great idea to walk you through my 2023 vision board and we could talk about what we did accomplish, what we didn't accomplish and how to set us up for 2024. First things first, I have my vision board here. I made it on Canva and actually I set it as my laptop background every year and I just keep it there all year round and I can always refer back to it and just keep my goals in mind, you know? So I created it on Canva. I find all the photos from Pinterest. So let's walk through a few things, shall we? First thing on my vision board are things surrounding work. I have, you know, a woman on her computer working. I have a laptop in a coffee shop with a coffee, things like that. And that has to do with just work and thriving at my corporate job. And I have to say I did that because back in October, I actually got a promotion at work and that was through hard work and dedication and putting myself out there. So I actually accomplished that and that's probably one of my biggest accomplishments of 2023 because I finally exited that entry level position type work and into a more managerial position. So I'm super happy about that. I also have a lot of pictures here surrounding working out, eating healthier and cooking my own food. I did sort of succeed that. I mean, my workout regimen has gotten way better. I really made fitness a priority this year in 2023 and no longer became a chore for me but something I just really wanted to do and I don't feel like I'm like energized or things like that unless I work out and I feel so much better once I do my workout. So I have been working out consistently two to three times a week every single week. Even if I don't work out I'm making sure I'm walking but I think I've really kept up and I have my Peloton streak going so I'm really happy with that. The eating healthy, I did okay. You know me, I love my sweets. So I think that's something I want to do a little bit better in 2024, especially with my wedding coming up, really focusing from January to July, eating super healthy and clean as much as I can, enjoying treats here and there, uh, but eating clean. It helps me stay energized, less bloated, things like that. Also cooking more, I did that a little bit. I made a video or two with cooking. Um, but that's something I want to get more better at in 2024, learning new recipes, cooking and serving it. So that's definitely going to be on my 2024 vision board. I do have a lot of things on my vision board surrounding content, YouTube, filming, things like that. And I'm super happy with that. I made a lot of videos this year that I'm super proud of. I've kept consistent on Instagram and YouTube shorts. And we're almost at a thousand subscribers I can't believe that we're so close so I had a, like a YouTube little plaque on my 
vision board. And even if I don't reach that goal of hitting a thousand followers by the end of the year, I'm totally fine with that because I think I started 2023 with a little over 500 followers. And now that we have over 900, I really can't believe it. So I'm really, really happy with that. I made a lot of vlogs. I went to New York and LA and I filmed and vlogged a lot and everyone had so much fun. I filmed a lot of outfits. So that's something just amazing. I'm so happy I did in 2023. Money was definitely on the vision board for 2023. I did end up getting a raise with my promotion. So that kind of ties into that. And with influencer marketing as well, I have made a couple bucks. So I'm super happy. And thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. It means the absolute world. I did have a lot of girls nights and girls out to dinner and having fun on my vision board. I think I definitely did a lot of that in 2023. Just hanging out with the girls for a couple hours or grabbing a coffee with a friend. That's what really I wanted to symbolize in my 2023 vision board is making more time to have fun and I totally think I did that. Fun fact, I did have Morgan Wallen on my vision board because before Christmas last year I wanted to see Morgan Wallen so bad and all three of his Toronto shows were completely sold out. I couldn't get tickets. So I put him on my vision board knowing that in 2023 I really wanted to see that. And as you know, that actually came true because Matt got me surprise tickets for my birthday and I slayed this outfit here. Best outfit of 2023, hands down. And that was one of the best nights of my life despite feeling sick, I had so much fun. I had a few pictures of PR boxes and receiving PR. I did get that a little bit and I'm actually super proud of that. Merit gifted me some items for a video. Princess Polly gifted me some items for a video, which was a huge accomplishment. Since I started this journey of documenting my life online, I really wanted a partnership with Princess Polly, and I can't believe that happened, so I'm super grateful for that one. I can't believe it. The last thing I had on my vision board here was a Kindle and more reading. I have to say that's something I didn't do the best at in 2023. My doorbell just rang. I definitely wanted to read more and I only really read at the cottage or things like that. So that's something I'll be putting on my vision board for 2024 as well. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I highly encourage you guys to build your 2024 vision boards by the end of the year. And that's something we'll be doing over Vlogmas as well. All right guys, it's a really gloomy day. We need to find out what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the day. Also, can we just slay this outfit one more time? She's so cute. Literally raining hard. I'm about to drive to Matt's house now gonna be annoying in this rain but we'll just get it done wearing the super puff because it is waterproof and um thank goodness matt replaced my windshield wipers two weeks ago because they were shit before they i couldn't see anything so at least these are like nice now but yeah we gotta make our way up there and we have some wedding stuff to do a little bit more planning and then we'll have family dinner matt wants to watch football yeah that's the vibe for the rest of the day look what matt got me Cheers. But we have to watch football.